Hello, hello, and welcome! Silri is here with Mac Warrior Online, and this is a splashy summoner build I am showing off here with SRM 6s, note without Artemis, and a large pause laser. This really, really spreads damage all over the place on the target you are firing at. But the nice thing is that this can be run on Summoner B. Well, obviously, because it's a summoner and uses Omnipod, it can be run on every single summoner variant if you want. But it can be run on Summoner B with just swapping in one arm for the, you know, energy slot to run large pulse laser web. And that side also is kind of a, you know, big target. When you mount SRMs into the side torsos, torso of a summoner, it creates that little disk on top where the missile launcher actually is located and people can easily tell that you have mounted, you know, SRMs or some sort of a missile rack into your summoner that uh, makes it that people really want to blow up that particular, you know, torso and side of your mech. So I went and mounted a prime arm to get the laser on the other side of this particular mech. And that means that when the missile side goes down, well, still have a laser around on it, but obviously it is in the arm and it can be blown off as well. And this clip here is a really good example of how people who are dedicated to getting rid of your missiles can do it very, very easily. Because, well, it also depends a little on where you mount the ammunition for your particular, well, missile slots. If you do them in the side torso itself, then it's easier to do, but if you do them in the arm, then you are likely to lose, well, a whole lot of missiles by someone just randomly, you know, blowing the arm up, and then you might not have missiles around. So that's the side torso gone again. Not really surprising. So, <laughs> Sumner and SRM6s without Artemis. The reason to run SRM6s with no Artemis is the fact that, well, you get a whole lot of missiles that way because you're not wasting tonnage, well, essentially wasting tonnage, for the Artemis. So that means you can put in more missiles. And so you can take pot shots with the missiles, which are going to waste some missiles. And also, because this is a summoner, always remember that you have jump jets. You can actually use those to, you know, positioning advantages on places and things. And that sort of stuff. But however, getting back to the SRM6s. SRM6s are really good if you get really, really close. And, well... Me versus the Timberwolf, look how close I got, right? Thankfully, the Timberwolf decided to shut down in the middle of that, which obviously makes it easier, but that's the thing. And the other thing is, because of the torso-mounted SRM rack, it's actually kind of easy to poke over ridges with just that SRM rack, have it, have it in a different, you know, fire group from the other SRMs, and you can poke over ridge lines and other ledges and whatnot and just fire that at enemies, because it's so high on the chassis. It's very, very good that way. Obviously, arms are, like on most clan mechs, are really, really low, so poking around or over ridges is really difficult with those low slung arms. So this mech is very much a brawler, so you have to get close to do a whole lot of stuff with those, well, you know, SRM6s. And I said mech, this particular loadout, obviously you can build summoner to do all sorts of other things. But the problem is, or rather, I would say the big problem with this particular loadout is the way that the, it spreads damage all over hostile targets you are firing at. Missiles already do that, but large pulse laser is not the most precise weapon either. So, 
you do have these issues of like well, you are really good at stripping a whole lot of armor off targets but you are not quite so good at actually finishing targets which have you know one component very well damaged already or some such it is not easy to finish off components or, or shoot specific parts of a hostile mech you have to get really close to even get all missiles on target obviously this particular loadout is really really heat efficient so if you are still trying to master this particular chassis out and all that stuff try this out especially if you like brawling because you do have to get close to really get the most out of this thing now thank you very very much for watching hopefully this was helpful and maybe you get to try this out if you are so inclined to brawl in a summoner <laughs>